that's what these teams do best. Force turnovers and create offense off their defense. Max Jones guarded by Williams. Oh. Nice feed inside and a foul as Butler scores. Hi, YB. Hi, YB. Hey, hey, hey. What is new, girl? Butler pushing up Williams. And the cut by Struess. No, gets it back. And a foul. Henrich Williams with the foul is going to send Max Struess to the line. Career year from beyond the arc a season ago. Shot it at 41%. Numbers are down a little this year, Stan. It's right. nothing new for us. But we've got our group back together, and Adam Lefko and Shaq and Candace. And they don't really worry about that in there. They'll leave you with that shot from the dotted circle to the free throw line, and you're going to have to make a lot of those. It's what you're used to seeing and with that Syracuse zone in college. Increase the number of possessions in the zone, and of course tonight with an eight or nine man rotation with all the injuries, probably see a lot of it tonight. And Butler is fouled on his way up. A part of his offensive success is getting to the free throw line. So patient and so deliberate with the shot face. Gets you in the air, obviously against a younger team, but Butler 7.6 free throw attempts per game, 13th in the league. You got to be disciplined against it. Every time you vote, you're entered to win a free trip to All-Star with your NBA ID. Vote daily on the NBA app for your chance to win. Whatsoever, and this Heat team has just seemed off offensively all year because of it. Just riding around that 500. Devin will turn around, he's fouled. And Dwayne Devin will go to the line. The injuries to Adebayo and Lowry and Hero are expected to be short-term injuries. They're without Caleb Martin again tonight. They're not with a quad injury. So you can watch live games this season on the NBA app right now at a new halftime price of $49.99. Get 24-7 NBA TV coverage and can't miss matchups from around the league. They move the ball, they share the ball, and they work extremely hard defensively. Always in that developmental mode as Vincent misses, and there's Kane and a strong rebound and finish by Jamal Kane. Yeah, well, Oklahoma City, it's been a problem all year. As good as they are defensively, 11th in the league. Thank you for that, and uh, I would make a guess that it had to do with what was going on on the defensive end with those two plays inside, those cuts to the basket. I really don't care if he's upset. Yeah. The players can get upset. Granted, players can yell at coaches. I, I don't have a problem with that in the heat of the moment. And that includes Haslam, is down to eight at this point. And there's Jamal Kane. I don't really remember teams this young. Of course, I haven't been there. But young teams like this being this unselfish. Butler is fouled. Multiple guys who can get the rebound, bring it up, make plays off the bounce. Fun to watch when it's all clicking for this young team. They've got to stop fouling Jimmy Butler. Though. Like, if you could defend Jimmy Butler without fouling, and I know that's not easy to do, you would really limit his effectiveness, especially as his career's gone on. He's not a bad jump shooter. I'm not saying that. Had a couple of points from the free throw line. Miami really cutting him off from his drive. And Butler gets the rebound, and you can see one of the major flaws in Oklahoma City. Miami is exploding that. And again, Jimmy free throw is back to oh. the line. <laughs> that just sounds this might stick. Terrific. Third foul on Dort. Butler is a perfect eight for eight from the free throw line. Guy who can go get a bucket and play well with that second unit. His health is so important to their long-term success. Yeah, we talked this morning before the game about whether or not. There's Pat Riley and a formula in place to keep Oladipo coming off the bench, even with a shorthanded. So even tonight, with so many starters out, four of them, he continues to come off the bench. Yeah, no question. And uh, by the way, Jimmy free throw is back at the line. <laughs> so you guys can get on oh, me yeah. all you want, but oh, my man's got two buckets yeah, and are. 10 free throws. Swipe the post. He steals again. And Jimmy trying to go all the way. And that's going to be a foul. And another 
Trip for Jimmy Butler to the free throw line. Patient uses his size and strength. And once again, back. With the future. Uh, that's, you're right, but coach. That's yeah. been a real problem of late with Oklahoma City, this young team, to not just send a guy like Jimmy Butler to the line every time down. Butler with Wiggins on him. Wiggins a good defender. Butler gets a step, gives it up. Now Vincent probing. And Vincent gets Wiggins off his feet. Cash it in. A free throw coming, a chance at a three-point play. Yeah, they're going to go to the line for their 20th time tonight. This Heat team doesn't get to the free throw line. <laughs> they don't. They only average 22 free throw attempts a game. Really starting to cook in the second quarter. He's got 15 in the quarter. And again, Jimmy Butler is going back to the line. He's more efficient in the mid-range and getting to the rim in the free throw line. But he can score in a number of ways. He can get hot. 17 for the game, 15 coming in the second quarter. And Jimmy Butler, a perfect 14 for 14. Even they were fortunate to only be down seven, considering they were 100% from the free throw line. The Heat, he, what he said they needed to do was finish, contest, and not foul, <laughs> as they just did in this instance. Scoring, and you're right, 31 plus per game in the third quarter for Oklahoma City number one in the NBA I mean, all I mean, the he's players not he as, could have chosen he's not as well known as Dennis Autry <laughs> yeah. but you know he was a pretty good player and as you said Grant he's showing that tonight Hilgis Alexander adds two more he's got 19 inside a foul Benson will head to the line and Benson will shoot a pair you would say that B.A. wait a minute are you implying an announcer jinx no. Oh, oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> oh, we we applaud how hard you play, Grant. But there used to be a saying that I would hear from coaches all the time: big, strong guy, Jimmy Butler. SGA denied at the rim. Butler on his way back. That's going to be a foul, Joe, coming in from the back. Number eight to the free throw line. He's made his first 14. I'm not sure that should have been a shooting foul. Yeah, I agree. I don't think he ever gathered the ball. He lost it because of the foul. Well, when your nickname is Jimmy Free Throw. <laughs> <laughs> You've really hit on something, Stan, tonight. You don't get writer's credit, you know. No, and nor do I. I I'm not even sure I want credit for that one. <laughs> Jimmy Butler, a spin. Butler can't hit it. Waters and Butler takes it right back from him and a foul. And that's going to put Butler back at the line. See tonight, the Heat with 28 consecutive free throws made. Their franchise record is 30. They got to finish the game perfect. The NBA record is 39 for 39. And I've already made off air. I'll, I'll bring it on air now. I'm making a bold prediction here. The Heat will not stay perfect at the free throw line all night. They will miss tonight. Well, not this time, Stan, despite your best efforts. Shot clock is off. Miami can take the last one if they want it. They trail by a point. Oklahoma. Jimmy did a great job, Brian, of selling that. <laughs> so Butler back at the line. Miami led by seven. Butler with 27 and 19 of those coming at the free throw line. Trey Mann got numbers here. And Mann loses the handle. Oladipo with the steal. And Victor Oladipo oh. as they get the take foul. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I love it when Kevin has to yeah. go on the mic and explain it. Makes you want to have some sweet tea, doesn't it? Free throw run continues. And a friendly bounce. Because they've been to the line 34 times and haven't missed. Oladipo for three. Struz keeps it alive. Back tap to Vincent. Another chance. Three pointer on its way. And good. And a foul. Who average 12 and a half a game. But it's been a problem in Oklahoma City all year. We said it earlier. It's a good defensive team. You've got to be solid with the ball. Butler leaves it for Kane. He misses. He got his own. Kane scores it and one.
Eric Spolster riding with the rookie here. They wave the basket on. I beg your pardon. Two shot foul here. Convert that three point play opportunity. How about Eric Spolster here? This small lineup makes Brian Grant and Haslam look like the Twin Towers. That's for sure. <laughs> Fantastic anticipation there by Giddy. And that put back. Oh, with a 7 0 run. To get down the floor and stay in the play. Butler barrels his way in. Dort will take the foul here. And Miami back at the line, having made 37 consecutive free throws with a minute 47 left. Approaching an NBA record. And Butler calmly cashes another one in. Stops a 7 0 Oklahoma City run. Butler knocks them both down. Plus 25 at the strike. Williams misses both at an offensive board. Wiggins, and it's loose, and here comes Oladipo. Two point game. Butler goes down on the block, and Butler scores! And one! Jimmy Butler! Take the lead and break the NBA record at the same time. He makes this a 40 for 40 at the line. The record set in 1982. And Butler makes it 40 in a row.